Hey everyone, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite palettes. So eyeshadow is probably one of my most favorite makeup product. Every time I see like a new eyeshadow palette, it just piques my interest. I literally have to like tell myself, you don't need any more eyeshadow but I truly love it. I don't know what it is, I just, I love it. And I tend to stick to the same colors, although I will say like, for the most part, I used to just do like neutral and more cool tones, but now I've kind of branched out and I definitely wear lots of warm tones. So that's something that um, has broadened my purchasing of eyeshadows because I see an eyeshadow palette and and within the last couple of years that was like the major trend the warmer palettes so I'm just gonna jump right in and get started these are my five top favorite palettes so my first one is Tom Ford this is my only Tom Ford palette that I have it's beautiful I believe I got this one on Nordstrom the anniversary sale, not last year, but like two years ago. So this, you can see I have worn the heck out of this. I love this palette. I don't know if it's, I think it's like a limited edition palette and I hate talking about like something you can't get, but this is truly like my favorite and this is truly something that I wear. I'm going to be so sad when I can't wear this anymore, but you know, it is what it is. But this, this is just so, so pretty. It's got like a pretty kind of like pink that's not really shimmery, but then it's got a champagne that's like very shimmery. Um, this kind of looks shimmery in the pan, but this is what I put in my crease. It is the best, like it looks more orange, but I'm telling you like when you put it on your eyes, it's just so, um, like just, I don't know, it's just the prettiest color. It's like a warm, brown color with just like a hint of copper but not enough to be like over the top it's so pretty and then i wear this uh, maroon color like on the outer corner i love it so so much um definitely my favorite i'm going to be so sad when i'm out of this this is the only one that is discontinued i think so all the rest of them are you can buy, but I just had to mention that one because I truly, truly love that one so much. All right, my next one is something that a little bit newer to me, even though this is super old. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This has been out forever. And you can see, like, I have a favorite color. It is Cream Brulee. That is my most favorite, like, lid color ever. I don't know what it is, but, like, it just works with my coloring. I love how it looks on my eyes because it's not like a typical beige shimmer, but it's got like a hint of bronze without being too coppery. I like bronze colors, but I don't like too coppery and orange on my skin tone. So this is just perfect. But my very first Too Faced palette was the Bon Bons palette, which is like, I think that's like the second or third installment of, yeah, it's the third. So this is the first, and then the um, semi-sweet was the second, and then the bonbons was the third. So I got the bonbons palette first. I loved it. I used the heck out of that palette. Um, I had about like four or five shades that I just killed, and then the other shades I liked, but it wasn't enough for me to like keep around, and by that time I had it for a while, so I did end up getting rid of it. Um, this I got on sale. It was. Uh, I've had it for a while now, but like, I don't know, it's probably like a year ago. Uh, Sephora had it for like 20 bucks and I jumped on it. So I do love this very, very much. I think if I'm ever gonna repurchase a chocolate bar palette, like if I use this up and I want another one, I will purchase this one again, just because I love that creme brulee color. And I love all of these um, like medium browns those medium like browns I put in my crease and then um, tons of like outer corner shades that are up my alley. So like some of the browns and then like the cherry cordial color is a really pretty um, burgundy shade. I love burgundy like in my outer crease. So definitely love that palette. 
My next palette is one I've had now um, probably like six or seven months. I made an order on NARS. I ended up getting like a free lipstick. I ended up getting a free blush. They have like the biggest sale going on. But this palette is called the Extreme Effects. Um, this is such a good palette. So my favorite part of this palette really is the purple colors. This is why I truly love this palette. These purple shades, like this, this deep purple and then like this kind of shimmery purple, I don't know if you can see it. Those are my, I mean, they are stunning on the eyes. Like they just create the prettiest, purpliest, like, um, color on your lid without being like, they're not shimmery at all. And they're not like too purple. So it's, so when you wear it, you know, you don't look like, oh my gosh, she's wearing this crazy purple eyeshadow. It's not like that at all. It really comes across as neutral, but there's just something so flattering about these shades. Um, I've truly never worn like these red orangey shades. I do like the bronze shade. I like that shade. Um, I need to play with it a little bit more and like branch out. I like this color in my outer. That's about as dark as I think I've gone, or I mean like as red burgundy as I've gone in this palette, but I really do need to like branch out because this is a really nice palette. I'm really glad I got it. I think it was on sale when I got it. Um, endowed, pulsing all the way, role play, full potential, code red, take control, blow, stare down, private eye, tantric, and uncensored black. Those are the colors in here. I'm not really sure if they're like colors you can purchase extra because I'm gonna check into that because once this palette is done, I would really like to just get the purple colors because I like this palette, but I would love, love, love to, to have these purple shades um, after I'm done. All right, my next one is probably my most favorite out of all of these that I'm gonna talk about. I mean, I love them all, I love the chocolate palette, but this one to me is just so versatile, so this is what makes this the best. But this is the Tarte Juicy Palette, the Tartlet Juicy. So here's the thing about Tarte. I, and it smells like chocolate too. It smells like the Too Faced palettes, like that cocoa. Anyways, this palette is definitely, like you have to like pinks. You have to like um, pinks and corals and then like champagne colors. If you don't like those colors, you're going to hate this palette, but every single shadow in here, I think I have used every, like not a lot, but I have, you know, dipped my brush and used every single color in here. Every color is nice. Every color is creamy. Every color goes on really well, blends nicely. I'm really, really impressed with the quality of this palette. And I will say this because I... The In Bloom palettes were horrible to me. I tried to use the In Bloom palette, like I purchased it when it first came out and I returned it. And then a couple years later, I think it might've been on sale or something. And I was like, they're so pretty. And somebody had done a review and it just looks so beautiful. So I purchased it again and then I took it back. And I'll tell you why. Those shadows for me were horribly, horrible at blending. So I would put the color on and I would go to blend it and it would leave like streaks on my eyes. And you know, I know how to blend eyeshadow. I know how to, you know, mix colors and um, shade and do all that stuff. So like that palette was just horrible. And I, you know, and I don't have like oily lids or I don't know. I don't really have any reason why that palette should have been so bad, but twice that I tried it, I hated it. So I just kind of like resigned myself that, you know, Tarte eyeshadows, not for me. I love Tarte, I love so many other products, but I don't know what it was. I just really liked the pinks because pinks are like so my thing. And I just really wanted to try this palette and I love it. And honestly, I think that it's not like a very hyped up palette. Like I don't hear too many people um, talking about it. I hear more people talking about the in bloom. I know those were like super popular, but for me, this is 
awesome. And I absolutely love this palette and I am so glad I ended up getting it because um, I use it all the time. The colors are just so flattering. They're not like too pink, but they're, I don't know, they're just beautiful. They're be it's beautiful neutrals for somebody that likes pinky and like mauvey shades. Love it. And my last palette is actually a drugstore palette. Um, and this is my newest palette. I think I got it like a month ago, but this is the Wet n Wild in Love with Coco. This palette is really good. So if you really don't want to spend a lot of money on eyeshadows, you don't have to. Drugstore eyeshadows are sometimes even better than high end. Wet n Wild is an absolute go-to for drugstore eyeshadows. So if you're just getting into eyeshadows and you don't want to spend a lot of money or you just refuse to spend money on something like eyeshadow, I get it. Wet n Wild has some of the best eyeshadows. And I was noticing at Walgreens the other day, I had to go in, I was waiting on a prescription and I'm like, this is dangerous if they tell me to go wait because I'm going to go walk around. <laughs> I didn't get anything, but I did walk around the um, cosmetics department and Wet n Wild had a huge palette and it had like neutrals, it had like colors. I can't remember the name of it, but it was a newer palette. It was like a 20 or 24 pan palette. It looked awesome, beautiful. And I'm sure like that is an awesome palette. I don't need any eyeshadow obviously. So it's just not something that I was gonna pick up, but they had this at Target for like, I don't know, it was like three bucks or four bucks. And I thought I really wanna try these because I, Definitely think it's good to try, you know, more inexpensive eyeshadows to be able to recommend for people that, you know, I, I have a lot of people that like in my real life that's like, what do you recommend for eyeshadows? I don't want to spend a lot of money. I always, always recommend Wet n Wild. So this is just a beautiful neutral palette. It's definitely got the coppery shades, um, but it does have those good burgundy like outer corner shades. It's really pretty. I wore this one. I wet my brush and I wore this one on my lids um, yesterday and I really loved how it turned out. Um, I love them all. Probably my least favorite would be something like that. Like more of that penny. It's like a penny. It looks like a penny. Like a penny color. It's not really my thing. Although those kind of colors really do look good on blue eyes. So maybe I should wear colors like that more, but I don't know. Anyways, I truly do really like this palette. I think it's worth checking out. This was um, one of like three or four in this set. They had purples and then they had one that was, um, I think more like colorful. So they had like a good amount of like three or four in this little um, mini palette set, but this one was in love with Coco. So love, love, love that. So anyways, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Like I said, the only one I think that is limited edition was the Tom Ford. I'm really sorry. That's probably the only Tom Ford uh, eyeshadow I will ever get. But um, like I said, it was at the Nordstrom sale. I've had this now for like two years. Um, it wasn't last year's Nordstrom and it wasn't, it was the year before. But it's still going strong and I had to kind of stop using it for a while so I could save it because... I'm going through it pretty quick. Well, I was going through it pretty quick, but I, you know, had to put it to the side for a while. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys' um, top five favorite palettes are. Um, I'd love some more ideas for things that I don't need to buy. No, I'm kidding. I'm not buying any more palettes, but I will let you know if, um, I do happen to get anything new. I don't think I will. I'm really being good. I haven't purchased, other than this, this is like the only eyeshadow palette I've purchased in quite some time. Um, but I literally don't, I used to go and just get like, oh, I need this eyeshadow or I'd see a new collection, but I haven't done that. I've been really, really good. Um, I've just been using what I have. I love shopping my stash. When we moved, I put every, I got rid of so much stuff and now I have everything to where it's all organized and I can use it. Um, and I really want to use the things that I have. So that's what I plan on doing. But 
Anyways, I really appreciate you guys for, I really appreciate you guys watching my channel and I hope to talk to you guys in the comments. So I'll see you all soon. Thanks. Bye.